Hi everyone, it's Mr. London Plumber. I'm in Barnet today at University Construction Support behind me, which they run a lot of courses. So come with me and I'll show you all about what the centre's all about. Let's get to it. So here's the centre down at Barnet. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna have a little look around and we're gonna check out some of the courses, what they do, and you're gonna maybe meet some of the people in there and have a quick word. So let's get to it. Hi everyone, it's Mr. London Plumber. I'm in uh, Barnet today and uh, look at this, some horses in the back. That's a horse. Whoa, whoa. It's a real horse as well. <laughs> Yeah, one point on the course. Yeah. Need to be on a little cheeky break sometime. <laughs> but the training centre is very accessible. It's just there. But you've got some buses that run up there. Yo, yeah. So, you see an emblem yeah. How did you find out about this course? I found out about this course through uh, social media. Actually, I found out about it through their Instagram page. So I use Instagram quite a lot. So um, I like to go on it. I read the information. I don't just click and like people's posts. I want to see about it. So um, we got into a conversation speaking. And yeah, we ended up being down here. And that's how that happened. And what made you pick the uh, triple STS course that you're doing today? Because I think that um, a lot of people go through the same processes, yeah, within like working on sites and stuff like that. And I don't think they really understand what those processes entail. So I think that it's important to know these things. And people have asked me at places before to be the supervisor and stuff. So you need to be able to take on that role and understand why you're taking on that role and what that entails. Because if you don't, you just sign a bit of paper. Yeah, yeah, um, what was one of the most interesting things that you've learned so far on the course? Well, I would say it's to do with mainly the courses. I would say some of its basis, like 50% of its basis is about health and safety. So um, some of the new things which I didn't, um, I didn't know about health and safety or the right registrations or what the, the, the law side of it was very helpful and which is something we all need to abide by, isn't it? Which is the law, isn't it? It stands for everyone, isn't it? So I think the law side of it was very helpful because it's what is a law and what is an act and what the company should be doing for you as an employer and what you should be providing for the employees. So it's helpful in all around, in all aspects, because it allows you to know where you kind of stand and where the other people kind of stand, which is the management people above you. Okay, okay. And um, how long is the course? How long does it take? So they do a two-day course on the weekend. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, Saturday and Sunday. I would say that the course starts at eight till uh, about eight till four on both days. Okay. Okay. And do you stop for lunch at all? Or? So yeah, we do have a little stop for lunch. Um, which is midday, so you have like an hour for lunch or something to get yourself together. So you could, you might want to bring yourself a packed lunch box with you to be able to get you through the day. Okay. And um, when it comes down to uh, like out of a one, one to ten, in regards to how much information the course provides from when you started to when where you are now, what would you scale it on a one to ten? On a 1 to 10, I'd definitely scale it on an 8 because the support is there for you. The lecturers who are at the centre, they're very helpful and they're not just trying to push you through a course right this second. You can stay in contact with them, you can build contacts with them and they will also help you upon other problems and issues which you have inside the workplace because they have that background where they've been around construction. So I would imagine so they've come across a lot of problems and the same problems which keep on occurring and they've got um, things in place to help people. So it's definitely a good place to be with people who are helpful, man. And that 
can help you elevate because you can tell them what you want and what you would like to do and I'm sure that they could push you in the right direction or help you or guide you in the right direction. So therefore, it's really good support. I, I feel that the support and the information that they give you, especially the books, I'm breaking down the pinpoint stuff which you need to know. Obviously the whole book you need to know, but there's always highlighted points which you will need to know more about and you have to understand the difference between one and two. Okay. And last but not least, when you get the qualification, when you get that certificate, what are you going to do with it? What's when the next I get move? that certificate, the next move for myself personally is to do the management one straight after. So to do the supervisor and managing uh, projects and all that, that's something which we want to build ourselves to because at Mr London Plumber we take on a lot of projects so therefore they're necessary and hopefully within a year or so we'll be um, international. So um, we're looking to take on a lot of bigger projects and supervised projects overseas and also in England. So it's a thumbs up from me, Mr London Plumber. I'm down in Barnet today at University of Construction Support, which is just down the high road, 169. Check it out, Mr London Plumber, thumbs up. It's lunchtime now. Cool. Plugs.